Hello there guys, Vinny Plays Games here, and today I'll be showing you how you can overclock uh, your uh, Intel i7-6700K processor. So once you get into your BIOS, I'm just going to click here, enter setup. Um, this is going to load up. Um, basically, I have an ASRock motherboard, so... Um, let's get that to focus. I have an ASRock motherboard. So, uh, for me, I have to press F11 on boot up. It should also say on the bottom of your screen while booting up, doing the UE UEFI or the post crap, uh, what button to press. So, I'm going to be showing you guys how to overclock your CPU. Um, for most of the motherboards now, if you have a decent one, have like a, this little easy thing. Uh, but we're going to go into advanced mode. Now, once you get into advanced mode, you're going to want to go into overclock tweaker. But as you see here, it says I have a uh, four a gigabyte uh, four gigahertz speed. If we go over here and overclock tweaker, if you look up here, it's I overclocked mine to four point five gigahertz or forty five hundred megahertz. So first, you're going to want to go into CPU configuration. Alright, sorry about that, a uh, little freeze up. Alright, so once you go into CPU configurations, all motherboard BIOSes are going to be slightly different. You're going to want to hit all CPU ratio for all the cores. Now, once you're going to go over here to all core, change that to uh, whatever uh, speed you want. So it's going to be on a multiplier of 100. So obviously 45 times 100 is 4500 now. Uh, since my clock, you could. this is also how you could also underclock your processor by uh, making this uh, number smaller than the original so let's get that to focus there we go so I have mine set for 4.5 but obviously if you're gonna have your processor run faster you're also gonna need to give it a little bit more juice so next you wanna go into voltage configuration now you're gonna wanna change this from auto so it's auto to fixed and then next you're going to hit you're going to click fixed voltage and you basically don't want to exceed any more than 1.4 volts on an Intel CPU. Um you can but that's going to get a little dangerous. Um the more voltage you put in, that's to mean the more power it's going to get, which also means higher temperatures. So if you're going to be overclocking your CPU, you're also going to want a decent uh cooler. Now, if you have the K version of the Intel Skylake processors, which means that they're unlocked, that means that you could easily overclock. Now, if you don't have the K version, you have like the 6500, 6600, or 6700, either i5 or i7, um, there are BIOS updates to allow you to overclock, but I rather I played it safe and got the K version, so I could overclock without having to deal with any issues. So once you find... Uh, a, a good voltage you could try out this if it doesn't work um then you know just play around with it all cpus are different even though that it says that like they're you buy the same processor as someone but they always somehow to be slightly different so if this voltage doesn't work you may want to either drop it a little bit or increase it by a little bit maybe go to 1.375 or something like that or drop it a little bit go to uh, 1.325 so next we're just going to hit uh, exit uh, I'm actually going to discard the changes because I don't want it to save the rest so once um, it does that, it's going to do the regular windows, and then uh, I'll be right back when I get the stress test up. Alright guys, so I'm on my windows. I uh, like to suggest IDA64. Uh, you, you could get the trial version, or you could pay for it. I use the trial version, um, because why should I have to pay for something when there's a trial? So that's going to boot up. I'm also going to pull up a task manager. You could use task you could do task manager by hitting control shift escape at the same time. So I got task manager running on my second monitor. And for Ida 64, you're going to want to go to tools. 
then system stability test and now the reason why I'm not recording like with OBS is just in case if it crashes you guys could see if it crashes then I don't have the recording so in the trial version it tells you your temperature all the cores and also the CPU usage and if it throttles so we're gonna hit start and you're gonna want this to run for like at least five minutes so now you can see my temperatures are going up for the let me move the mouse temperatures are going up which obviously that's going to be expected because now if we come over here my CPU is at a full 100% usage and my memory uh, is at 88 and slowly going up it's probably going to go to 96 or something like before so um, those temperatures are going to continuously uh, rise until they get to a steady peak now, as long as you see that little yellow line on the CPU usage, that's at 100, and it says CPU throttling, uh, and that throttling stays at zero, then you're golden. Now, if there is a system issue, oh, excuse me, the hiccups. If there's a system issue, uh, an IDA 64 could will shut down, uh, so the system doesn't crash. Or sometimes, if if you go for too big of an overclock, it will just crash your system, and then you have to reboot go into the BIOS or if you actually can't do anything you might have to clear the CMOS so I'm gonna let this sit for a few minutes and then we'll be back with the end results alright guys we just passed the 10 minute mark no issues whatsoever CPU still at 100 memories at 96 29 gigabytes being used of RAM Thermal, th uh, the CPU throttle didn't even go up 1%. CPU's at 100. Temperatures, they're starting to get a little iffy. They're starting to get a little high. Uh, they de didn't really exceed any more than 75, which obviously, uh, I've played games 1080p, recorded in 1080p, and my CPU has not even reached any higher than like 50% usage. So I think this is a, will be a great overclock and definitely will help me. If you guys enjoyed, please like the video, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.